Welcome to Brawlhalla. Yeah, and, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, both Anime Fan and Shazuki have been around here since 2019. Mm -hmm. They've been around for year, like years in, in Brawlhalla, so. I don't know. Definitely very interesting. But right now, we're going into our next set Meg D versus Wobs. And Meg D is changing some characters around, isn't he? Yeah, uh, he's uh, picking the fate this time, coming from Wobs. But I was watching a couple of the, a couple of the earlier sets from Meg D, right? And he was pulling out this fate. All right, I feel like the the Val was sort of like a okay, this pick isn't working. Let's go with my actual character pick, right? So this fate i think this is what he actually wait no i couldn't i can't say that because meg you know, d has well, been playing a lot of fate hasn't he he has he, he's known for playing fate and he's known for playing val and i i think maybe maybe jab was trying a little bit do we see oh as i'm saying now <laughs> meg d going crazy on that orb with fate and knocks wubs down to that second stock within the minute mark yeah, oh my gosh is wubs is on arms nuts <laughs> you got to keep in mind that Wubs is at this high level of play or this high level of play playing on West. So he is Jesus. here playing on pink. All right. He has a lot more pink compared to like the rest of the players in this tournament. And he's still keeping up, going crazy, going like really good against all of these players. All right. He, um, uh, if I if I can look back at the bracket, he came here from I'm loading top 32. Smash GG is taking a while. He came here from a three to two victory on Shadowhawk that we just saw, and then a two and zero victory on Dark Nova. Honestly, two players that honestly I wouldn't be too surprised if they beat Wubs, but Wubs still managing to clutch through for those, and he's still keeping the stocks even for this set here too up against Meg D. Keep in mind, MegD was coming here from a victory against a player who was expected to win the entire tournament. So, yeah. this is really good coming from Wubs. This is seed one versus seed six. And he's keeping it, well, I was going to say relatively even, but... Yeah, I think uh, we were more so in the mindset of bracket than the actual yeah. round. But yeah, Wubs is, he's not doing bad. He's been doing very well. He's improving a lot compared to what he's been in the past and especially with this level of gameplay now, right? So Meg D is doing pretty decently against Wubs, but Wubs is pretty doing pretty decently, especially when we, in the previous matches that we had him on stream, right? He didn't do very Ooh. well with that character, right? The Ember, and, and it's because of the defense on it and Meg D is taking advantage of it with that, uh, with that Fate. And Fate has a lot of damage uh, build up with it too. Yeah, that was really good coming from Meg D. Honestly, I was talking about how Wubs was keeping it so close, but then Meg mm -hmm. D, that entire stock was just going crazy on Wubs, mm -hmm. not letting him get, like, barely getting him, letting him get any hit whatsoever. So Meg D yeah. up 1 0 in the set so far, needs to take two more to take Wubs out of this tournament at fifth place and go on to the top four. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, right now we're going into uh, this matchup with Wubs on Artemis. Well, I mean, pull it out. I mean, try it, you know? Uh, try, try the character and see how it works. Oh, we got it. But right now, I mean, we're on. We're on, uh, on pass here. And right now, I mean, make these. Meg has been doing really good with that site. I think Wubs wants to try his, his input on it, which is why they did the Artemis. But also, that Lance range goes crazy in this matchup, and maybe he's trying to use it to his full potential here. Yeah, Wubs is doing pretty good with this Lance pick on Meg D. Wait, does Meg D have... He does have a recovery. I wasn't sure there because he used his dodge, but the Seraph coming out from Wubs, was that that Lance tech? on side of the stage where it comes out like much quicker cider yeah 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 <laughs> wow i think that was like one of the first times i saw that on a galaxy cup which is crazy well i mean if you got the tech you gotta use it right yeah you, of course you use what you what you have and wubs is definitely doing that and meg d meg d's being way more of aggressive as a player against wubs which 
is surprising to me. I think he feels a lot more comfortable approaching Wubs. And the side of Co goes ahead and shows that with and knocks out Wubs' very first stock. But yeah, I don't know. I think with the fate with, with Meg D, it shows his aggression as a player more so than when he's playing Val. He's kind of baiting attacks more than anything. Yeah, honestly, let's see how he does. All right, the stock has been pretty even. Two stocks on each side. Nice there coming out from Wubs, trying to go for the recovery. This lands from Wubs has been doing a lot of work onto MagD. And if I'm not mistaken, if Wubs, uh, if Wubs wins this game with the Artemis, that would be the fourth game that MagD lost to an Artemis. He lost to AO Blue and Winterside with his Artemis. So, uh... Oh, that's true. May maybe that was a bit of, like going through his head like oh he lost to artemis maybe artemis is the pick who knows maybe the the speed of the character throws mag d off with the lance too yeah, yeah that's smart that's a smart move coming out of webs and i think um we'll kind of see what happens here i think uh mag d is, might swap characters if webs does win this game but right now it seems like it does seem like mag d uh, is pretty low, but he's starting to get the platform control again. Gonna go for a knockout option on Wubs here very shortly. Ooh. Does it, but it does not knock out, and Wubs is still alive. And as I say that, Sally Sally comes in clutch. Really good coming from Meg D, taking that second stock with the sidelight cider. But let's see, will Wubs finally break this uh, bracket curse and finally manage to take a game against Meg D to make the set? Other than a 3-0, and completely ruining the shutout. But let's see what he... I, I don't know. All right? He's on orange. He's been keeping it really even. I'm hearing the music playing in the background, and it's incredibly, incredibly suspense. Like, incredibly intense. <laughs> and could he, could he do it? Will Meg D take game two of this set and possibly make this another 3-0 and in the bracket? Let's see, Wubs with these recoveries has been throwing out nothing but these recoveries. Oh. And he took him to red! This is really close for game two of the set. Oh! Meg D getting launched into the air. Wubs right now with that scythe tries to get the credit, gets a neutral signature, but Meg D says no, picks up Orb, and I'm expecting some type of signature knockout. Some type of dare, maybe a size signature or a neutral sign. I'm gonna throw swaps over the scythe, picks up Orb again. We see it here. I'm going to see a knockout option. It's either going to be... Oh, he's weapon starting webs now. Oh, that was close. Wow, all uh, right. Ooh. This is really close. The sideline side air, is that it? Yes, it is. Meg D taking game two of the set. And is currently one more game from top four. Will he do it? Let's see. Yeah, I mean, Wubs is showing his, his gameplay off with Artemis. I, I would 100% stick with that character and props to him on, on doing so well mm -hmm. with it. But right Three, now, two, one, brawl. I think Meg, Meg D still feels comfortable approaching Wubs. Even with the character swap, even with how close the game is, we might see it change a little bit. You can see actually it's changing a lot. Meg D's really not approaching that, that or Wubs a whole lot. He is starting to do a little bit, but you see he's not being as aggressive as he was last round. Yeah, he with this Lance, he's been doing... Uh, he's been dealing quite a bit of damage onto Meg D. Nice recovery, trying to go for a second one there, but Meg D forcing him off stage, going for a pretty ballsy play there with the GC sideline, but managing to catch Wubs with that ground pound. And he picks up the Scythe. Let's see what he can do with this Scythe. Oh, we have a site ditto match right here. Oh yeah, and right now I think Meg D is getting smacked by Wubs here a little bit, but Meg D, I, I would say, might have the the lead in that regard. Wubs does get knocked away of his of his scythe. Wubs has been doing well with that land so far. Meg D's like, you know what? Neutral air. Side, it was down light in the neutral air again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's really controlling. And it's also to kind of see how his mentality is against Wubs' Lance and how he's moving against it. But Wubs, either way, does land that neutral air. And it's so incredibly fast. Megdi was unable to really counter that. 
And right now, uh, it is two stocks all, but still Megdi with that orb signature, launching Wubs into the red, and Megdi almost has an entire stock lead over Wubs right now. Oh, now he does. Now he does. All right, there you go. Wubs does get knocked down to that final stock, and uh, that orb's kind of throwing around Wubs a little bit. But yeah, right now, I think we, um, we're seeing Meg D trying to take that neutral control, trying to make sure you can try to bait Wubs uh, into attacking. That's when Meg D does really, really good combos, just like we saw there. And it catches Wubs onto a wrong, the wrong side of the, the mindset that he wants to be in. Because it's more so like trying to say, like you're, he's, a lot of players, when they're knocked into that type of situation where players being extremely aggressive, it's more of a survival mentality than anything. So seeing Wubs trying to come back there, that's where Meg D wants Wubs to be. And Wubs like, you know what? No. What? I'm with that two piece. <laughs> but I've never seen that. Like, <laughs> what the heck just happened there? That, that was, was smart from Wubs like, to do a GC side sync to come back on stage because he could tell Meg D was going to go low to try and get that kill. But this is still not looking good for Ooh, Wubs. What? Oh my gosh, Meg D gets this knockout. Wubs will probably never stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> it. I wouldn't either, because Megdi does go in with the three and oh over Wubs. And I don't know, that actually looked like it should have knocked out, but it just didn't, unfortunately. But very props there to, to Megdi. Advancing further in the bracket, beating both of his hypnotic uh his hypnotic clan members there beating Java, now beating Wubs 3-0.